All right, guys, so today we have an update to the Android 13 build, well, the Google Pixel build for the Surface Duo 1. And it's actually a pretty massive upgrade. So shout out to Thaya here who is posting this because he is the software engineer who is also an ex-Microsoft engineer who went ahead and built the Android 13 for the Surface Duo 1. So this is absolutely amazing because we are still getting updates to the Surface Duo 1 and as long as he can continue to build this and continue, continue to push out updates, we're gonna have a pretty workable Surface Duo 1 for the foreseeable future. And especially with Microsoft kind of canning the operation behind the Surface Duo 1, to have someone actually, you know, continue to work on this device, which again, in my opinion, is one of my most favorite devices of all time because of how beautiful it is. The hardware, there is no, there is nothing better on this planet, hardware-wise, than the Surface Duo 1. I don't care. And, you know, it has no camera bump on the back, and that makes it beautiful. Because you can open it up 360 degrees, and it's flat, it's flush, it's gorgeous. Well, here's the updates we have. So, starting off right away, they removed the display mask feature. So, apps stop trying to load Surface Duo configs, and then they crash. So, obviously, yes, because you're running an Android 13 Google Pixel um, software... It's going to, you know, try to use the Surface Duo stuff and then it crashes the device. So this is actually a huge upgrade right here. Add options to disable hinge gap in settings, which is actually really freaking cool. So this is the hinge gap. As you guys can see, the little bit of a difference. There isn't too much of a difference, but when you actually look at it, um, I'm actually going to, can I click on this? I can click on this picture. Let's go. All right, let me show you guys like this. So this is with the hinge gap right here. And hinge gap, by the way, is just the middle part, in case you're just wondering. In case you're wondering and you're confused. It's just the middle part. This is without the hinge gap. So you can disable this in settings if you want to. So you don't have to have the hinge gap. Which, again, like I said, you know, as much customizable features as possible is always a welcome change. And always good, you know, just in case someone did not want the hinge gap. So, without hinge gap, with hinge gap. And just um, looking at this, I'm going to probably say I want with hinge gap. Yeah, I'm planning to go with an hinge gap personally, but either or, not bad. Alright, the second thing we have here, add support for foldable devices state. And by the way, when you go into settings, if you're wondering where it is, you just go to the PHH uh, Tremble settings, device specific settings, Surface Zero features, and it says right here, disable hinge gap. Disable the hinge gap for the Surface Zero requires a reboot. So in case you uh, want to go ahead and disable that and you are on this build, you can do that right there. Next one we have here, like I said before, is um, opt uh, add support for foldable device states. And finally, split screen divider matches hinge side. Hinge size. I cannot speak today for some reason. So again... Major, major, major update. Love to see this. And I'm hoping we continue to see updates as time goes on. Um, again, this is something where it's like, this is why the community is so amazing. Why I love the Surface Duo community so much. Is because we saw this with the Windows 11 build, right? With Gus33000. Now we're seeing this with this guy right here creating this Android 13 build. And it's just... So much things, so many options that Microsoft could have went down and so many roads they could have went down to make this device so much better. And they didn't. And you know what? It's okay because we have amazing people in the community to really take control of this and they can do it themselves. And we as a community gets the benefit from the innovation of this. And it's funny how Gus33000 wasn't a Microsoft employee. He tried to apply to Microsoft. They denied him. And this is actually an ex-Microsoft employee who actually is able to get this working and look pretty dang well. <laughs> guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.